In this video, we are going to learn about repeater control. Repeater control is a data bound control that provides us maximum f uh, flexibility in terms of layout in rendering the collection of records. Till now, we have seen the grid view control and the list view control. Grid view control uh, gives very less flexibility in terms of uh, layout. Uh, but uh, list view provides us a mo much better flexibility than grid view. However, repeater is much much lighter than list view control and as well as it provides uh, almost similar feature uh, that uh, uh, list view provides in terms of layout rendering. But uh, repeater control doesn't provide uh, sorting, repeater control doesn't provide editing, updating, deleting or, uh, or pagination facility. So if your requirement is just to list the re uh, collection of records uh, with your own custom look and feel uh, and the layout then probably repeater control is the way to go. So in this how to we are going to learn that how and where to use repeater control. As I said uh, to list a small collection of records on the page with custom layout we can follow this approach and uh, so let me show you how to do that so first let me create one uh, control on the page so let me copy paste the code so here is my ASPX code as you can see let me explain all of uh, the code that I just now copied and pasted I have a repeater control whose enable view state is false here because I don't want to maintain a view state and here what I have done is that I have directly added the item template. Remember that there is no column here. You have alternate item template, footer template, header template, item template and separator template. So in this repeater control as you can see that we have uh, we do uh, alternate template uh, that is used to basically render the alternate items of the repeater control footer template that is used to render the footer of the repeater control or and header template that is used to uh, render the header of the repeater control and item template is basically a normal item that you want to uh, list and the separator template is basically a template that is used to render in between the items so because I have to simply render the items of the template so I have simply used item template and under that item template I can use either ASP.NET controls or any HTML control. Here I have used a div whose style is border 2 pixel dotted and C0 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 color padding 10 pixel margin 10 pixel and then I have used my custom style so here what I have done is that I have written bold first name and last name and then uh, another line age and then I have written another line number and then another line is active whether true or false. First let me copy paste the uh, code behind or the server side code. So here is my uh, server side code let me copy and paste it and then I will explain them. Now here uh, let me uh, first uh, modify the code <coughs> so that if there is any problem then it will be okay. I think now it's fine. Now here in the page load event <coughs> what we have done is that we have checked if this request is not is post back then we have called the get data method and in the get data method we have instantiating the data table and then instancing the SQL connection object by passing the database connection string that is basically retrieved from the web.config file and then we are executing the select statement this select statement is basically getting all the records from the personal detail table and filling into the data table and that data table is ultimately being stored being set as the data source of the repeater control and then we are calling the data bind method. Now it will simply bind all the records from the personal details into this particular uh, repeater control. Let me show you how it is looking like. So you can see that my uh, repeater control output looks like this. You can see here this is the div and in place of all evil all the data are coming. So my uh, name of the uh, personal detail is coming in the bold as you can see here bold 
and the rest of the details are coming into the next line like age 30 number 3 is active so this is the way to basically list the records from the data source in, into the repeater control now let me tweak the code and add an alternate item template here okay so that you will be able to know that how to use alternate item template so I'm writing alternate item template and let me change green so now we'll, what will happen is that all altern alternate item of this particular listing will will come into the green you can see that so border is coming as green you can see let me just increase the size of 5 pixel so all alternate item will come with the green border now as you can see now let me put one uh, separator template and let me write it HR now what will happen is that all the items will come with the horizontal line separator you can see here one separator two separator three separator four separator like that so this is the way to basically use the item template alternate item template separator template and and in the same way you can use header and the footer template as well now the next uh, how to is how to render ordered list or unordered list using repeater control okay this is very simple because we already are aware about different templates available in the repeater control so we can we can simply frame that kind of templates so that when it will render then it will look like ordered or unordered list so let me copy paste the code so here is my ASPX code as you can see here let me explain the complete example here so first as you can see let me just uh, arrange the code so that it will look nice first what we have done is that in order to uh, bring the uh, ordered list into HTML generally we use OL and then for all the items we use LI so I have done the same thing here under the header template I have written OL and then footer template we have written the closing OL tag and then for every item we, in the item template we have wrapped that with the li so opening li and the closing li as you can see here now when we will uh, run this page with the data source that we have you will notice that my items will be listed in the ordered list so let me run this page before I running this page let me just show you the code behind code behind is the similar I have not copy pasted the code behind from this uh, ebook because code behind will be similar I am not changing any code behind code here so let me uh, run this page so when I am running this page you will see that my uh, items is being listed into the ordered list 1 2 3 4 5 6 is automatic coming coming and uh, is and numbers and is active is coming in this way now if I will have to bring unordered list then we use UL instead of OL we use UL unordered list now if you will see here then it will come into the bullet here as you can see so this is the way to basically you uh, use the repeater control to render the ordered list or unordered list uh, uh, on the page